welcome to Baking with Jay plus Dan. I'm Jay. I'm Dan. And today we're going to make oatmeal toffee sour cherry cookies. This is a super addictive oatmeal cookie. So thanks for leaving comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Yeah, so we're going to start in our mixer with two sticks of unsalted butter. Make sure it's at room temperature. And to that, we add three quarter cups of brown sugar and three quarter cups of white sugar. Cream that together in one addition. So we're going to let this go for about three to four minutes. Okay, so our butter and sugar are nicely creamed and we're just going to give it a quick scrape. Our next two ingredients are one large egg and one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. And we're going to mix that up. Our egg and vanilla are nicely mixed into the cream, sugar, and butter. And Dan's going to tell us what to do next. Okay, for the dry ingredients, take one and a half cups all-purpose flour, whisk that together with one teaspoon of baking soda. We'll add the flour and the baking soda into the butter and sugar. Just stream that in until it's incorporated. Make sure you do it on low. The flour is incorporated into the batter. And it's time to add the oatmeal. You can use one and a half cups of quick oats or old fashioned oatmeal. And our next ingredient is one cup of sour cherries. You can also use cranberries, raisins, or any dried fruit. And one eight ounce bag of toffee bits. Mm, I think this is the addictive component. We used to have a neighbor that she would smell this baking and be at our door, like scratching, trying to get her oatmeal cookie with the toffee. <laughs> okay, so we're going to add all of this together just until it incorporates nice and slowly. Our mixtures come together nicely. You don't want to overmix it too much because that'll make a tough cookie and it's time to form that into a log. Look, it's got a nice thick texture, but it's still very pliable. Bring the rest of the sour cherries and oatmeal and toffee in by hand. And then I've laid out a couple sheets of plastic wrap. We'll form the log. Okay, and this, bring your plastic wrap over. This comes together and just makes it easier to scoop. And also when you wanna make a few cookies at a time, you can keep this in the refrigerator, scoop them out when you're ready. Roll out all the extra air pockets. twist at the end, turn it on to itself, and it's ready to go into the refrigerator for a couple of hours. You could uh, chill it overnight and serve it the next day. So when you're ready for that oatmeal snack, grab the log, grab an ice cream scoop, and portion out your cookies right onto the tray. Tonight we're making six. Leave lots of room for them to spread out. And these go into a preheated oven, 350 degrees. Bake anywhere between 10 to 12 minutes and make sure you rotate halfway through. And the toffee turns nice and golden. And here they are. So when the cookies come out of the oven, let them cool completely on the cookie sheet. And you'll notice that when they're baking, they tend to spread. That's because of all the yummy toffee we put in it. It gives it a nice lacy finish. Ooh, and that break, it has a nice, it's still soft and yet has a little texture from the toffee. It's a good balance. The sour cherry balances the sweetness of the toffee. It's delicious. They're fabulous. You've got to try this one. This has been Baking with J Plus Dan. 
Please remember to subscribe, share, like, and always remember to ring that bell. Thank you.